Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're a regular on this channel, you know that I'm pretty excited about Blender Geometry Nodes. If you have never heard of Blender Geometry Nodes, wow, you're in for a treat today because of two things. First, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to them, and then I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and use them in Unreal Engine. And then you're going to start seeing the power here. It enables you to basically create tools. You can create uh, item generators that are procedurally driven, and you can actually then use those blend files directly inside of Unreal Engine using Ultimate. But first, a little bit about geometry nodes. Here you can see one of the sample files. Don't worry, I'll show you how to go ahead and get this in a bit. Uh, but this is three cupcakes. And each one of these cupcakes is actually being procedurally generated using the same geometry nodes network. You can see the controls over here. Geometry nodes are added just as a modifier. Geometry nodes like so. And then you select the geometry node type that you want to use. I'll show you the geometry node network in just a bit. But first, I want to showcase what they are capable of. So here you can see... Um, three different cupcakes once again, some sprinkles all around it. And what you can do is procedurally control. So if we want the radius to go up, we can do so. I want to bring it back down. We can do so. I want to change the dough surface height. We can do so there. And we want to change the amount of uh, cream on the top of our guy here. We can do it right there. So you can see how you could use this to create trees, um, uh, bushes, shrubs, buildings, uh, basically anything that you can procedurally define, you can do so using this guy. So again, let's let's uh, let's remove the sprinkles. We want less sprinkles. Oh wait, no, we want more sprinkles. And each one of these is a separate instance. So each one of these can be controlled. So we want a fat cupcake there and a skinny cupcake over here. Basically, that's the procedural aspect of it. Really powerful stuff. A quick look at what Geometry Node Network looks like. We'll just bring this guy up. There is a new editor as of Blender 2.93, I think. By the way, this is Blender 3, and there were a lot of re-architecting and change node names between 2.9x and 3. So you probably want to use 3, especially with Alter Mesh, because it doesn't seem to like some of the 2.93 stuff. So you can see this is the node that is creating the cupcakes. So you can see here you can define a number of inputs. Uh, these are values that are actually like what you're seeing right here that can be specified. By the way, all of these are animatable as well, which is pretty awesome. And then you go through and you kind of just create everything using those inputs like so. We just walk on through. So you're probably creating the underlying cup, the uh, dough inside, the sprinkles that go around it and so on. And it's just basically a series of nodes that are chained together and ultimately joined up and outputted as a set of geometry. In terms of nodes, there are a ton of them available that you can work from. And using this combination of nodes, you can basically procedurally create just about anything. And the nice thing is, since it's parametric, you can add uh, whatever properties you want to this guy, and then again, control them at your will. So this is some pretty powerful stuff, especially in the world of game development. So let's say you want to bring this over to Unreal Engine. Well, that is where this is the star of today's show comes in. By the way, if you do want to check out this scene or others, it is available. Um, the Blender has their demo file section. It's available at forward slash download forward slash demo dash files. Scroll on down and you're going to find a number of examples. I use them all the time in my videos about Blender because they're way better artists than I am. But you'll see here they have an entire geometry node set section including the cupcakes we just saw in action. Okay, so now what we're going to look at is Alter Mesh. Now, Alter Mesh is a new plugin released just a couple days ago for Unreal Engine that enables you to use geometry nodes from Blender directly inside of Unreal Engine, and it does a really good job of it. Now, by the way, this is still under development. Cool thing here is there is a free version. That's what we were looking at today the personal version for non-commercial projects, and you can get it for free. There is also a commercial version, uh, so personal, free, Commercial for um, commercial projects also comes your source code. That'll be a hundred bucks, which is quite reasonable in my opinion. So basically you want to grab it, come on in here, say, yeah, I want this guy. Uh, say the amount you want to pay, say, I want this, put in your email address and it will download a zip file. Zip file contents extracted look like this. Basically just go ahead and import the U project file into Blender, sorry, into Unreal Engine and you are good to go. And that is where we are going to continue now. By the way, it did not work in Mac OS, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, so here you see it. Once you load it up, this is what you get. Now there is some work you've got to do. Now, first off you can see here, no example. And if you want to see that example, you have to do some setup. By the way, if you want to walk through a tutorial showing you how to do all this, it's not really intuitive, but what you do is come here to this guy right there and you say, start tutorial. 
and then this will walk you through step by step what you need to know. Here, you want to open up the documentation, click here, open documentation, and it will bring you uh, basically to their website. There's no extra information, but hopefully in the future, there is better information available there. But if you want to run through the tutorial, click that guy and you're good to go. But I'll show you everything you need to know. First thing you're going to need to do, need to do is go to your project settings. So settings, project settings or edit project settings. Scroll on down here. It is installed as a plugin called Alter Mesh. Now notice, example, nothing there. Now what you need to do is tell it where your Blender is. So mine, quite obviously, is in my downloads folder because of course it is. Uh, so I'm going to just go here, pick it out, grab the Blender EXE. This is Blender 3, by the way. And then once you have defined that, you're done. That is it for setup. And you'll notice, poof, our example just showed up. So now let's go take a look at that example in action. And you can get an idea of exactly what this guy is capable of. So here you can see a procedurally generated city. It's, it's created a number of different buildings and so on. I'm gonna go ahead and select this guy. And then what you're going to see here is you've got parametric control, which is pretty cool. You'll also be able to find it down here. Uh, so that is under the examples, city generator, and right here, you can open that one up and you can edit the effects here and you can also re-import it. I'll show you how you can bring blend files in. It is super, super easy. So this guy is controlled right here. Any one of these guys, it's just like you were back in Blender controlling those various different parameters. So let's say we want our city to be taller. I could set this to 30 floors max instead. And then boom, our city procedurally updates. We wanna change the size of it. All right, so let's make this six width. There, boom, wider city. So you can see how you could use this thing to create just about any kind of um, content you want and have it procedurally driven. So you can have someone that creates basically these tools or templates inside of Blender using geometry nodes, and then you can instance them directly in your game engine. So pretty cool stuff on the whole. By the way, if you wanna go back to normal, uh, you can do a restart instance. Okay, maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, by the way, if you wanna create more of them, literally just drop one into the scene and boom, you have a next instance of it, uh, which by the way is completely separate. So here, let's make this one short. You're gonna see it instances separate from this one. Now, in terms of examples, there are a number of other examples here. So example, they've got one that is spline powered and I'll uh, show you. So this example, uh, where are you physically located? Okay. Uh, it is using geometry nodes to create this thing, but you're gonna notice it's still using splines and it's still compatible with the Unreal Engine spline system. So what I can do is I can come here and I can add a spline point in the middle, for example, and we move that around like so. But you've also got the, the controls like you would expect uh, from otherwise. You also can hook up a number of different ways, which is kind of neat. You can have blueprint control. So for example, this guy right here, there is a blueprint behind. So this is, again, an instance object from uh, Blender, but it is being controlled by blueprints. So you see over here, standard blueprint uh, is handling uh, parametric updates so we can change the radius and the height and so on using blueprints in this example. And those are available right here. Like so, and you've even got animation support and play or simulate to run. Let's do a simulate. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm not sure how to run that demo. So we will, uh... oh, there we go. All right, so you see uh, you can do animations as well. So that is another example that's available right here. And there is an, an, um, there's a blueprint controlling it as well. So here's the, the animation control blueprints on that guy. Um, you've got uh, control over materials. So I'm gonna do a control E to open up the blueprint. And here you can see the material definitions for that guy. Uh, pretty cool stuff, I have to say. Now, in terms of if you want to bring in your own example, now this doesn't seem to be flawless, by the way, because I think it's a Blender 2.9 versus a 3. Uh, so I'm not getting materials immediately, but let's go back to that example I was showing earlier. This cupcake one, let's bring in a cupcake. So go over here. I will go to my downloads folder. I will grab cupcakes.blend. Once again, you can grab the example from uh, that, uh, that website I showed you earlier on. Switch over here and just drop the blend file into your scene. You're gonna notice that blend file is imported as an alter mesh instance. We can open that guy up and have control. There's the default parameters and so on. If we wanna bring it back in, we can re-import it to our heart's content. But now we can go ahead and create us some blueprints. So to create a blender object, uh, geometry nodes object, we're using alter mesh in Unreal Engine. You drop it in and you drop it in your scene. That's it, we're done. Uh, the one thing I have found, though, uh, the pivot points seem to be off. 
I'm not 100% certain why. And then the other thing that I am finding is I don't necessarily get the materials. They're defined. All of the various different materials that were there, uh, the, so the sprinkles, the dough, and so on, but for some reason they don't carry over. And I don't know, again, if that is a Blender 2.x versus 3.x thing or something. I'm assuming that eventually it would just work flawlessly, uh, but these every example I brought in seemed to be just a little bit off um, from that other uh, folder, so I think they might just need to be updated. But again, you got procedural control over here, so if you want a fat cupcake, Create a fat cupcake, it will update. Uh, you wanna change the amount of cream on said cupcake. Uh, let's make the cream wider. And then we wanna change the number of sprinkles on the floor. Let's do so, and all the little scattered sprinkles, we shall have more of them. And ta-da, more cupcake folds at the bottom, or less, let's do less so they'll be bigger. There you go. So you can create just about any kind of procedurally drivenable, drivable, drivable uh, geometry that you want. So you can see how you can create like these really cool extensions to uh, Unreal Engine, but do it entirely in Blender, but then hand them over to your artists and they can just do things to their heart's content. And by the way, they again, once again, can do blueprint controls on them, animations and so on. Uh, it's a pretty darn powerful tool. As you saw, probably from this example, this one probably showcases it the best. You can create some uh, pretty uh, elaborate geometry node networks. You can see how you could create, again, cities or roads or buildings or whatever. And, and then you just basically instantiate them just like any other object. Literally just drop them in the scenes and you have new instances. So uh, boom, that one's in. Or we go back here once again. Let's make another city. And that is all that was required to create another city. So really, really a powerful set of tools. I love uh, geometry nodes. I think this is the future. Uh, I also find them a little bit more approachable than like Houdini, which is like my white whale. Uh, but uh, the, the way that Blender is implemented, maybe because it's just such a small subset so far, I do find it not as, this, like I'll, I'll admit, when you first look at a geometry node network, especially a complete one like this, they look scary but they're really not that bad. It is programming in a way. Um, well, actually, it is programming just straight out. Uh, and you can create multiple node networks that drill down into each other like you would with functions and code. Uh, but really, it's kind of straightforward. You're, you're setting a bunch of parameters in, you're doing a bunch of things with them, and then you're spitting out geometry. That's it. That's the idea behind it. And you can take these blend files, uh, install Alter Mesh, and literally just drop your blend file into Unity, uh, sorry, into Unreal Engine, and just use it procedurally there. Pretty darned cool stuff. So if you want to go ahead and check that one out, uh, it's available at altermesh.com. Uh, again, there is a completely free version. That is what you saw in action today. And this is a project that has a heck of a lot of potential. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.